look at the areas of Barrie that have the most crime and the least crime. And I think people are going to be uh, very surprised by the information we found out. What do you think? Hey, Mark Turcott here and Dianetto here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's podcast is about guns, drugs, and break and enters in Barrie. We kind of go over the worst areas in Barrie and the best areas in Barrie. So I hope you like this content. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. And if you want to connect with me to know more about the Barrie real estate market, click the link in my description on the calendar and book a time with me. normal kid stuff like right mischief things and we've seen them kind of throughout um the map that we looked at so not really a big concern but you know with drugs and break and enters and you know weapons um is is definitely an issue okay so what i have up here first of all is the areas of barry so this is considered the north end the cundles end uh this is, over here would be the well, what do we, we call it basically the Northwest or the Edge Hill area. There's Manette's Point, Tollendale over here is, and Bayshore Estates is more by the water, right? Painswick, Hollies over here. So these are the main areas of Barrie and that's how we kind of broke it down, right? Yeah. So the city center of Barrie, it's more the downtown area. Okay. Off of Dunlop Street, um, lots of restaurants, bars, um, small retail um, areas there's some there's some clinics down there that you know that are down that area and those are the areas that that area city center where we saw the most drug related offenses break and enter offenses and gun offenses and it's kind of normal in a downtown setting because it's such a spread out area in a sense and we got areas behind dunlop and clapperton and mallcaster Oh God, Owen Street. You know, it goes on and on and on. And those are all well, kind of uh, yeah, close and I think the Mar area. the Mary area. So what I did here, just so people know, is I color coded these little dots to our title. So the drugs are are yellow, okay. the guns are red, and the B and E's are teal. These are the the worst three areas in Barry. And we have the numbers here. We have the numbers based on the so the red would be the guns. And this is in the last 60 days, right? Because that's right. all the reporting you can get. You can't go back any further. Um, I guess every 60 days it updates and then clears out. Yeah. So go through the numbers with everybody. So what the 18 means and, and let's let you take over and kind of go through because we're on city center. So you know, we kind of gave them a background of what the city center is, downtown core, nightlife, you know, we're going to see those, you know, offenses happening more in a downtown core than maybe a family neighborhood. But And, and the city center, too, if you notice here, I also have it based on the volume of crime, right? right. So the worst is actually city center. The second is actually the Painswick area. The third is actually the Holly area. Right. So the city center, if we're focusing on that, the guns, there was 11 charges. The B&Es, there was 12 of them. This is in the last 60 days. And the drug charges, there was 18. Okay. So this was the highest in Barry, the highest area with those crimes. And they they topped it in, in every single one, right? right? Like in the guns, drugs, and B&Es, they're topping all three of them. <laughs> why, do you, why do you think that is? You know what? I do know that there are a lot of rooming houses down there as well. Mm -hmm. There is. So it's just, it, it's the problem. It's the drug problem, right? Because now the drugs, drug, a lot of drug dealers need guns, you know, because they don't want to be robbed of their drugs. Or if you're dealing drugs, you need a gun. So somebody else doesn't steal your drugs. <laughs> So it's kind of Good like thing. a cycle, right? So you would think the drugs and the guns would go hand in hand. And then if you, you know, are an addict, 
and you need money. For stealing. You're stealing. Stuffed. Yeah. And so they kind of all kind of go hand in hand, no? But and I think the drugs are the biggest problem. But we also got to take a look at, too, it's just not coming from, say, that part of a demographic in the community that are homeless and have drug addiction problems, et cetera. It's probably also coming from the nightlife down there on the weekends as well, right? Yeah. The, it, it's, it's a happen of nightlife down there. The bars are busy. There's a lot of people out and about.